Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and yeah, this works also with version 199. So it's about operations menu. This is the second video, and it's about the smoothing uh, options here in the operations menu. So, okay, here you find the operations menu, and the top. Uh, icons here are the filters if the mask is um, a protected area or the height uh, parts of the mesh so and this video is about here this settings here or this sliders smooth relax and uh, face group relax so um, first this is nothing new so this is not new, so this is uh, only new that there is a, a extra menu for this and there is a slider. But in fact here the smooth tool is the same. So you have here sticky vertex on border, relax option, stable smoothing and uh, also the face groups uh, thing is here. And so some use a brush called round all so this is the smooth tool here and the smooth tool has only a different setting here and the stroke mode is log radius so this is the same tool um, the smooth tool like this sliders here so we need an example so I select this mesh here and you can use now the slider here to smooth uh, the whole thing here. So this mesh here is an open mesh and there's it's not closed, not manifold, so like the sphere here. So this is an open mesh. And you see here an option for sticky vertex on border. So when you smooth here, the whole mesh gets smoothed. And when you use such an open mesh, you can use here the sticky vertex on border option. And now the verti vertices on the border stay sticky. So when you smooth now, only the mesh gets smoothed. So like this so what's the difference between relax and smooth so you see here the the mesh here is stretched so I used the move tool and stretched it a little bit so here the relax tries to relax the mesh back in the old position or something like this. So when I use the slider, you see here uh, the mesh. So here the, the loops try to get back in the old position. Um, and when you use the smooth tool, so you see here, it only smooths the whole thing. So this is the difference between relax and smooth. So like this. The next thing here is I'm using the, the sphere here so and I paint here a face group and you see here the smooth slider for the face groups so and uh, you can control here via the slider um, the border of the face group. And this is the same thing here if you use here face group and you find here um, the relax option. So this does the same. Yeah, almost the same. It's a little bit different, but um, so you see here, here it, it works a little bit different. But in fact, I think it's, yeah, almost the same. So stable smoothing I don't use um, uh, a lot of time so yeah it's uh, you can read here the thing here this mode works best with varying topology density and so on so 
maybe for dyna dynamic topology. Okay, so I think I delete this one and so maybe an example, an other one. So we need a little bit more topology. So I'm using, so I'm masking the mesh here, um, yeah, a little bit smaller. So I'm changing a little bit the scaling here. So now the mesh is masked. And so I'm using here inflate. Like this. So now here you see at the top here the mask and the height option. You see here at the moment the, the mesh is masked and when you use now the, the smoothing slider so you see the mask is not affected. Sorry, I go a step back. So, and when you um, uncheck the mask here and use the smoothing slider, then the, also the mask is smoothed. So, like this. Yeah, I think I'm using yeah, 1.5 million, so it gets a little bit nervous. So with this higher topology. So, yeah. Okay, uh, in fact, that's all about the smoothing options here. And um, you can smooth a whole mesh. So very easy with this. But as I said, it's nothing else like the smooth tool or round all brush. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting and ciao.